Hi, I'm Nathan Zampronio, one of your Hawkesbury City Councillors, and here I am at the Windsor Pre-Poll location, one of two locations that you can cast a vote starting from today for the upcoming council elections. Today, I want to talk to you about not exhausting your vote. Now, this isn't about whether you vote for me or my team or anyone else. This is about ensuring that your vote has the greatest power. Now, when you come to vote, you're going to see this advice on your ballot paper. To cast a legal vote, you need to vote for at least one ticket above the line or number at least six squares below the line. But here's the thing, you're not electing one ticket. Hawkesbury Council isn't divided into wards like many councils are. So you're electing all 12 councillors that are going to represent you in the coming term. I am so disappointed that some of the how to vote material that's going to be distributed to you by the major parties and some of the other tickets doesn't encourage you to vote at your full strength. It's what I call the one and done shuffle. Labor are recommending that you vote one above the line for their tickets and then just stop. Mary Lyons Buckets How to Vote does exactly the same thing. And the Liberals, they even say that there's just one step to voting Liberal. But even the biggest of these players are only likely to get maybe two or three of their number over the line. You're not electing two or three councillors, you're electing 12. If you followed their advice, your vote's ability to cascade down and contribute towards the election of 12 councillors snuffed out. Your vote is exhausted. When the Electoral Commission counts your vote, your preferences go down the line, sometimes landing on somebody that's already been elected, or perhaps landing on somebody that's already been eliminated as the count progresses. But in both cases, your vote and its preferences have the ability to be transferred to the remaining candidates until all 12 are elected. But if you vote one, like these people are recommending that you do, your vote peters out. To me, it feels like casting half a vote. It's a cynical ploy. Even as I need to emphasise, it is a perfectly legitimate and legal way for them to recommend that you vote. My recommendation is that for your vote to have its full strength, vote for multiple above the line tickets. Again, you don't have to, but it is a good idea. And look, if you're voting above the line, there are only 12 tickets that are standing anyway. Surely, counting to 12 is a small price to pay to ensure that your wishes are expressed in all 12 people that are elected to Hawkesbury Council. I'm here at the Windsor pre-poll site and I've got a hunch that a record number of people are going to cast an early vote at this election. At previous local and state elections, between a quarter and a third of people vote on something other than polling day, either through postal votes or declaration votes or absentee votes or pre-poll votes. For those of you who have made up your mind or who just want to have a degree of COVID safety, I think a record number of people are going to come here and cast an early vote. And why wouldn't you? If your mind is made up, come down here to Windsor or go to the Richmond School of Arts and cast your vote before December 4th. If you want your fellow Hawkesbury citizens to have their full voting strength, share this post and get the word out. As for me and my team, we are standing on Group A and we would be grateful for your support. Thanks for watching.